Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a big doggy. It's like Doberman. I think it was. Ah. So. Ooh, animals. No, anyway. <laughs> People would have seen lately on the news the um, that farmers are uh, masturbating back. No, not, not that. It's not masturbating, it's f***ing them over. By shooting them in the face. By shooting badges in the face. Yeah, this badger culling and the whole... I, and it's like animal rights is against it, blah 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 blah. But, hang on, hang on one sec, right? The farmers aren't doing this for fun. They aren't killing badgers because they just want to get rid of badgers or they're doing it for fun, as to put it. They're doing it for a very important reason. Right? Let's put it this way. Because the other animals carry TB anyway, and it spreads, it, they are, it is, because it's actually broken up quite a bit within the badgers anyway. <coughs> They're killing them off to try and prevent it to stop it from um, transferring to um, the cattle and therefore an outbreak of cat, uh, foot and mouth again. Um, because let's face it, last time they were foot and mouth, right, there were so many implications wrong with it. So, to not kill badgers, but to... And here's one of the problems, if you don't kill badgers, you will have to kill the cattle. Pointlessly as well, that's the daft thing. Right, where... <coughs> you have to kill... Uh, and the thing is, I don't want to eat a badger burger. But, the, I mean, there's so many problems with badgers. Yes, they're cute, yes, they're furry, yes, they're animals. But they are quite vicious. Um, they are quite vicious animals. Um, and if you do bite you, you will get... You will have to be checked over. Um, and if you have a TB, you will, will be. Um, not segregated, not segregated is the word. Anyway, whatever it is. <coughs> not segregated. Isolated. Until um, you're cured of it. Uh, if you get rabies and stuff like that, you're going to be isolated from the world. And that's no good for humans either. Right, cows and livestock for the farmers, it's their life, it's their job, it's their earnings, and the trouble is, it's our food as well. Right, you got cows obviously for milking, and we get loads of milk from them, which we use every single day, and it helps to grow strong bones. And then Oh, for God's sake, I always end up at home by the time it gets... Well, at least I've done most of the topic. Uh, instead. Actually, I might as well... Actually, I just want to go somewhere. Right, near my house. Right. Yeah, I've been down it. What? I've been like... You can walk through it from this end of the road. And it ends up on the road. And I think it goes a lot further than what I think it is. It does. For some reason. So I'm going to have a look now. I know where Thames Close goes. Um, <clears throat> I'll just finish off this topic. And, um, and that's the thing. If you think it's cruel to badgers being killed, I'll tell you what, if you don't kill the badgers, you will have to kill the, ca tas uh, the castle. And uh, that really is cruelty or pointless, pointless killings then. So, uh, uh, don't get me wrong, right? I'm not up for animal cruelty. I'm not going. I'm not up for animal cruelty because animal cruelty is different, isn't it? Really, to be honest, animal cruelty has been pointlessly cruel for no reason. At least there's a given reason with badgers. 
and that's my point. Now, if you're still against it, um, please just sort of keep it to yourself, because your opinion is kind of like, unless you come up with a really, really, really good reason why we shouldn't kill badgers. Ah, can I walk through that? Probably not. Got these little houses. Cute. How can a house be cute? Maybe they've took those down so people can get through. Welcome to Miller Congleton. F wow, look at that. So, uh, uh, badger culling. It's a good idea if you're getting rid of, get rid of badgers because of TB, but if you didn't have TB, don't kill them. Simple. Honestly, I'm a dog lover, but let's say, let's say TB broke out in the dogs or whatever. Wait, so therefore he puts humans' lives at risk. Uh, I wouldn't exactly want to put the dogs down. But let's put it this way. If it's safe for human health, human safety, my safety. This, I know this sounds cruel, but I'd rather the animal be put down, or animals, shall we say, than uh, putting humans down. Yeah, you kind of get the idea. So there is a difference between animal cruelty and, uh... What you call it? Of being pointlessly cruel, so... I'll, uh, see you guys later.